Acosta runs his mouth about Trump's wall, then Sarah Sanders issues brutal reality check. CNN reporter Jim Acosta decided to run his mouth about President Donald Trump's proposed southern border wall. Unfortunately for him, things immediately blew up in his face as White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders slapped him with a brutal reality check in front of everyone. Jim Acosta apparently isn't tired of getting his butt handed to him. He recently decided to square off against the White House Press Secretary yet again, this time, about the wall. Like usual, Sarah Sanders was ready for the liberal reporters and their tired rhetoric, but Jim would find this out the hard way. The briefing followed an unprecedented move by President Trump to allow the press to attend nearly an hour of a bipartisan meeting at the White House discussing immigration, according to BizPak Review. With several members of Congress, both Democrat and Republican, in attendance, they talked about immigration reform, DACA and border security for nearly an hour. Despite doing what no other president has done before, President Trump still caught heat from the usual suspects. Among them was CNN, as Jim Acosta decided to mouth off about the wall during the press briefing that was held with the press secretary later. Talking about Trump's promise of border security, Acosta bluntly asked Sarah Sanders if negotiations include the wall. Turning up the heat, Sarah decided to define what border security actually means to the bias tack, saying that it doesn't necessarily mean a physical wall, but that's just one piece of the puzzle. Apparently wanting to press his worthless question like always, Acosta decided that he wasn't done being dragged around the press room floor and tried to rephrase. Of course, that worked out about as well as expected as Sarah let him have it. If Democrats aren't in favor of protecting American citizens, then I think we have hit a sad day in American history, Sanders began, as the Daily Caller reports. But, I don't believe that to be the case because as we heard many of them say as they sat around the table that they are committed to border security, she continued. They do want it and most of them have voted for it previously before this legislation hit the floor. Oddly enough, the purveyor of leftist propaganda still hadn't had enough and tried to ask the question again but that it would be the last time. Just like that, Sarah issued a brutal reality check to Acosta, saying, Jim I'm not negotiating with you. I'll let Congress take care of that. The devastated look on his face after that just about summed it up perfectly. In the end, Sanders is exactly right. As much as the liberal media would like to believe that they're in control and bend politicians to their will, they're flat out wrong. This is a country of the people for the people, and by the people. We the people have elected President Donald Trump to represent us, and there are a great many people who want this wall in order to ensure that people stop entering our country illegally. As for Acosta, as much as he may believe otherwise, he has very little to do with whether that happens, and that's a fact he's going to have to come to terms with. And now, the idea of the wall seems to be progressing rather smoothly but there's still a long way to go. Although it looks like Democrats may be trying their hardest to prevent this reality from unfolding, it's only a matter of time. The left really can't handle not being in a position of power, but if they want to keep embarrassing themselves like Acosta did here, well, I don't think anyone is going to object to the entertainment. entertainment.